President Buhari reportedly advised that APC presidential ticket be balanced. Ex-APC leader Bwala, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A former chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, Daniel Bwala, has revealed how he left the All Progressive Congress after he was set to be the spokesman of the party's presidential campaign. During his interview with Rose with Rafai Hosseini, Bwala shared how he tried to raise concern about the Muslim Muslim ticket with the leaders of the All Progressive Congress before leaving the party. Addressing the topic, Bola said, I left the All Progressive Congress because I do not think that it would be morally right for me, who was already set aside to be the spokesperson for the presidential campaign, to go about advocating for a Muslim Muslim presidential ticket in Nigeria. I did that because I had held meetings with the critical leaders of the party where I stated this. He continued, I did not only explain based on religious faith alone, but also shared my permutations. However, it fell on deaf ears. Nigeria is not ripe for that and everything has changed since 1999. The country is polarized. I knew that a Muslim Muslim ticket will not deliver Bola Tenembo as president. There will be a lot of backlash as many Muslim brothers do not subscribe to the ticket. President Muhammad Buhari reported advice that the all progressive Congress presidential ticket should be balanced. There was no unanimity around that decision. Well, we don't know. Mm. We don't know who, which person they talk through now. We heard that uh, in, uh, in, I read a particular news article where they said that, um, that uh, he was actually, the ticket was imposed on him. So we don't know who is saying the truth now. Who is now imposing the ticket on Jagaban? Okay. From not, but because of the Muslim Muslim, I changed my heart to P to P2B should fly up. Okay. Tirimbo and his school travelers such as Erufa and the Muslim Muslim ticket are left on their own to face the shame of the actions and their party. The APC begins to crumble like a pack of cards. Well, let us not be so sure. Let us not be so sure about this. All I'm saying is the energy we maintain on social media to come out and speak on this issue. We should make sure we have the same energy. That's what I'm saying, not to waste our energy. We should make sure we have this same energy come 2023 when we are going to be needed to actually come out and cast our vote. I pity Tirumbo with all his political experience. He allowed Erufai and Gandhi to deceive him in going for Muslim Muslim ticket. He should have known better they do did that thinking of one of the one would be choosing as running mate. What a pity. You should leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Even if they decide to adopt Mr. President's advice, it really do not make any change. We'd rather vote another set of Muslim Muslim than voting Tenumbu's Muslim Christian. Are you? I don't understand. Okay. Tenumbu is from Washington State, APC last governorship election, where they have incumbent government. This is a big disgrace to Tenumbu, his party, which he is a flag bearer, lost his state. It tells volume. He does not tell anything yet. You don't have to come out and stop. It does not tell anything yet. We still have a long way to the elections. Long time. Anything can happen. More preparations can be done. All I'm saying is before people go and feel relaxed and saying, oh, they don't start to win. You know, never start to win anything. No. You have to make sure that you don't stop planning and you don't stop strategizing to winning the all, I mean, to winning the, the, the election come 2023. Pastors as pastors, thank, thank you, Nigerian Labour Congress Movement of Nigeria. Hmm. Even if Tunebo resigns his action and pick a Christian, it will be laced as there is no trust again. Hmm. Okay. Must I vote for APC with all facts in this and reality of a woeful performance using all indices of, indices of assessment? Now, this is where I come in. This is why I tell people that even me, before this Muslim Muslim ticket, I was never in support of the All Progressive. I've been saying this and I've asking the same question for several times. And I'm asking for the obtained time now. 
why would anybody in a country, Nigeria, come out to vote the All Progressive as they have shown that they cannot, they cannot handle Nigeria as a country? Look at their, I mean, look at their seven plus, almost eight years administration and look at where it has gotten Nigeria to. The unbalanced ticket and structure is a big reason to accept their bookie and get you shall say that their boki gets black plans for us. Even the daft, dumb, and deaf can perceive. <laughs> okay, well, our people said the thing that will kill you will make you deaf first. The wife that is a pastor and second, what advice did she give? Let us meet APC at the polls and vote him out. This is why I'm saying people should reserve your energy. So I come that same people know we're saying they don't get energy again. Okay. When God wants to make somebody fail, he will start with him make, by making mistakes. So they will make a mistake that he will forever live to regret by choosing a Muslim Muslim ticket. You can never tell. You can never tell. Peter B can never win. That's the fact. The not would rather go for Turembo Shetima. Instead, Igbo will divide Nigeria through their Biafra fever. So you are saying Igbos will divide Nigeria through their Biafra fever. But Boko Haram and bandits and the kidnapping happening in the north will not divide Nigeria be? <laughs> Let us keep being unkind to ourselves. Before 2 p.m. on election day, Peter B. will emerge winner, <laughs> winner in 2023 election. A. Peter has ruined the economy. Insecurity is a shame to the all progressive government. Even the north is waste to number because many of them suffers from insecurity. Many of them has died on timely debt. They cannot farm. Terrorists has hijacked their farm. Many Christians will not support Muslim Muslim. Shetima is confirmed Boko Haram, but he is being protected by the Fulani government. That sounds so sure. I have said it that it is too early to come out and predict what is going to happen. Well, uh, from all indications, people are saying, what, am, what is my joy is? A lot of people are coming out to see. I think few people... Let me not say a lot. I'm coming out to saying what has the APC government done? That's the that's the tip on question. What did they don't do? If they have really done well, then all they need to do now is to come out and play us a slide by slide um this thing of what they have done. Yes, all they need to do is to just remind us what they have done. Had they been they have done well, but alas they did not do well. Instead of playing us the type their slide by slide achievement, they are playing us to both slide by slide achievement. And sincerely, I don't think this is going to work. Well, Nigerians, the ball is in your court. You people decide where this ball should go. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.